everybody, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt from CNET. This is your first look at the Samsung Zeal for Verizon. This is almost exactly the same as the Alias 2 that came before it, also for Verizon. What's interesting about it is it doesn't just flip vertically, it also flips horizontally. So it's a nice dual flip. It's got a 1.3 inch external display, your two megapixel camera up here. It's got a lot going for it. It has a lot of the same external features as the Alias 2 and sometimes that's bad. For example, with this proprietary Samsung charging port instead of the now standard uh, micro USB charging port. It also has a 2.5 millimeter headset jack, and I'd really like to say that a 3.5 millimeter jack. And inside you've got the star of the phone and what made the Alias 2 famous before it. It's the e-ink keyboard. This has gel keys, and they're really tactile, easy to touch, a little bit slick. And right now you see some navigation, some shortcuts, and on the very same keyboard you flip it up horizontally, and you'll see that the keys have miraculously changed and they are now a full QWERTY keyboard with additional screens that show symbols. Inside you've got your usual text messaging and email applications, plus there's Verizon Navigator, Vcast Music with Rhapsody, and a few other Verizon services. There's also Skype Mobile on here. Some of the subscription services can get a little bit pricey. If you're looking for total value overall, you might want to keep looking. You can buy this phone for $79.99 after a $50 mail-in rebate and with a new two-year service agreement. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, and this has been the Samsung Zeal for Verizon. What's up, Brian Tong here, and if you want the scoop for all the good and bad inside the Apple world, then the only thing you should be watching is CNET's Apple Byte. I'll give you the latest news, rumors, tips, apps of the week and even call out the bad apples. So watch it all at cnet.com slash applebyte and I'll see you there.